वेलकम बैक आई एम प्रताप हियर टुडे इज 18th डिसेंबर 2023 वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग फ्री ट्रेनिंग ऑन सप्लाई डिमांड जोन प्राइस एक्शन कोर्स सो इट इज अवेलेबल फ्रॉम द प्लेलिस्ट सप्लाई डिमांड जोन प्राइस एक्शन कोर्स एंड ऑल द ट्रेनिंग वीडियो स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम लेसन 1.1 एंड द रीसेंट लेसन 12.4 and even all the upcoming lessons also will be available under this playlist and the link to this playlist i have provided in this video description and even i have provided the link to our telegram channel there also you can find the links to all these lessons now let us get into our analysis part if you look into nifty nifty 50 we have a leg in candle again a new base candle is formed so it is going to be interesting so we have to observe again prices will be moving up with a leg out candle as a rally candle or again a new supply will be created with a leg out candle as a drop candle we have to wait and see but at this point of time on daily time frame we can able to see the price over extension so the prices are over extended by comparing from a daily ema exponential moving average in case if a new supply is created probably they will be coming back next time prices will be pushing up to this demand zone because by the time the prices get into this demand zone probably this ema will be moving up to this demand zone and there could be ema confluence with this daily demand zone that is one possibility the second possibility is with a rally candle again further prices will be moving further up and the over extension the price over extension might be further extended that possibility is also there okay now let's let us analyze the high liquidity zones generated in our previous report so even before looking to the previous report high liquidity zones on last friday we have discussed about a trade from our friday's report friday siemens is uh, generated in the report stocks near the supply zone so on friday what uh, friday what happened this uh, fine tuned area the prices are unable to enter moreover the risk is there at 15 minutes zone risk is high even though we got a very good profit during the intraday so let me show you because this is a 75 minute zone and this 75 minute zone we find you into 15 minute zone on friday let me draw the horizontal line here so on friday prices entered into this horizontal area horizontal line area that is on friday after that prices came to the fine tuned 15 minutes zone so we have fine tuned somewhere here the demand zone we have drawn so friday reached this area but we didn't allow the trade because we didn't as per high liquidity zone it is a successful trade but for our individual trading point of view we don't accept this trade due to high risk so that is the reason why what i told you on friday because the risk is high we have fine tuned to type 3 entry and once prices enter into this type 3 we can accept because the risk is minimal and this is a 15 minute zone even if you go to 5 minutes zone the same is the entry point the type 3 entry let me show you so for both 5 minutes and 15 minutes this is the type uh, type 3 entry 
and this is the zone we have drawn on friday during our analysis session and today prices entered into this zone because in the classroom we have drawn this zone if anybody would have took a trade today you would have got a good profit today let me show you what happened today so today prices entered into this area at 12 o'clock 5 minutes candle and 12 o'clock 10 minutes candle in both the candles we got the entry today after that it reached our 15 minutes target let me go to the 15 minutes time frame see here we have a erc candle again we have a base candle and then we have a rally candle sorry sorry this is the thursday's target this is the latest target revised target because we have, we should always look for the most recent 15 minutes as a target we have a drop candle we have a base candle and then we have a rally candle and what happened this revised target and today this is the target we fixed before the trade but morning at 12 o'clock that is afternoon 12 o'clock the prices entered and in 12 30 15 minutes candle prices reached the target if i go to the five minutes time frame exactly 12 35 minutes candle it reached that means within the half an hour the trade is completed and it has given 9690 rupees profit and which is 8.7 percent roi return on the investment for one future slot if you are using options probably your risk reward based on the options will be there and your roi is also based on the options will be there but anyway we are calculating always as per the futures because that always gives the most accurate uh, analysis for identifying the entry as well as the target and this is the one we discussed on friday during the during our analysis session i have drawn this i have adjusted to type 3 entry after that this demand zone is very strong what happened and moreover this is already tested and moreover this is a deep in the 75 minutes high liquidity zone so prices easily passed out and broke this zone that is a different story but we got our entry and also we got our profit the reason why i'm showing why i'm discussing about this trade because this is the one we discussed on the friday last friday during our analysis session i have drawn this zone okay now let's get into the trade the zones high liquidity zones we identified on uh, friday friday's report the first one is cub and this is a daily zone so let me go to the daily zone first and this is a drop four base candles and again a drop candle so we have identified this zone in uh, somewhere in uh, zone 23 and then i fine tuned this zone to 75 minutes area in the 75 minutes area we identified a fresh zone this is a drop candle maybe medium size or maybe it could be a little less than the medium size and then okay this is acceptable and then we have two base candles and then again a drop candle so this is a fresh 75 minute zone 
inside this fresh 75 minute zone we find you into 15 minutes area so let us go to 15 minutes and then 5 minutes area so this is the 15 minute zone so inside 75 minutes we have find you into 15 minutes So we have a drop candle and we have a two base candles and again we have a drop candle. So because the risk is high, what we did, again we fine tuned this 15 minutes area with 5 minutes. So we would have drawn a zone like this. Because this zone, the risk is very high. So what we did again to minimize the risk, we fine tuned at the 5 minutes. There are two advantages of fine tuning the 5 minutes. One advantage is the quality of this zone we will identify. Most of the times we know when a zone will be violated by looking at even though 15 minutes looks good, but 5 minutes easily we can identify this zone is going to be violated. That is the way many times we didn't take trades. That way we didn't, get, our orders never stopped out, but those zones were violated previously. That's why fine tuning at least up to 5 minutes is very, very important to understand the quality of the zone. Okay, next what we did, went to the 5 minutes time frame to minimize the risk and also to check the quality of the 15 minute zone. If the quality is good, then we will confirm that zone as a trade. Mostly those zones will be successful if the quality is good. But rarely we see some failures, but it is a rare scenarios. So this is the 15 minutes area. Because this is 15 minutes area, the risk is high. So what we did again inside the 15 minutes, we identified a lagging candle. This is a leg candle. After that we have 1, 2, 3, 4 base candles and a drop candle. So this zone is looking very excellent. So we have minimized this zone. So this is a leg candle and we have Four base candle or if you consider because the range is very high if you want to consider even this zone is also but uh, we didn't have a big wick here so definitely this is a base candle and uh, today this zone there is no doubt this is a perfect zone so definitely we can take an entry in this zone but unfortunately, today this zone is stopped out. So prices went beyond this. See, before just entering into this fine tuned area, the five minutes, there were small rejections, but strength is not enough. Generally, what should happen at up to 15 minutes zone, the prices should reach. What is our 15 minutes? So this is supposed to be the 15 minutes target. But look into this. So already a new 15 minute zone is created. Let me mark the zone. Hmm. Sorry, demand zone. So how to draw the zone? Like this. It is week to week. Or if you want to take type 2 entry, this is the one. See, when you have a very small target, a new 15 minute zone is created with this leg out prices went inside, maybe it may come back if the order flow is very strong. But previously we have seen the rejections from here. But still institutions created a new zone. Now the question is, are you going to accept this trade? The reason is, 
Look into the reward. The reward is very, very small. Even then, if you consider the zone week to week, just before your demand zone, there is a supply is there. Do you accept such kind of trades? Definitely we don't accept such kind of trades. The reason is, there is a 15 minute supply just before this 5 minute zone. At least we need to have around 6.1%. If not 6.1%, at least 4 or 4.5% return should be there. But what is the return we are going to get from this zone? Even if you take type 2, what is the return you are going to get? And moreover, taking entry in such kind of when you have immediate demand zone is available for your uh, supply zone, it is a dangerous, quite dangerous to take the trade. That means your supply zone and demand zone both are very close. Nobody will take trades such when when we have zones very close. Your demand zone and supply zones are very close. Nobody will take a trade because we don't know which one is going to be violated. What you generally know what some people will do, they do wild guess. They will think because this demand zone is very near, this will be violated. Definitely by violating, it will reach the next target. This is the way people will do some blind calculations. But we should not do. Have you have we ever taken uh, our target as a second demand zone? Always we consider our first immediate available 5 minutes demand zone, I mean 15 minutes demand zone we will consider. So this is the reason why we have to avoid such kind of trades. The reason is the reward is not sufficient enough and the second one is your demand zone and the supply zone, they are very close to each other. Let me draw week to week. Now you will understand your supply zone and demand zone, they are very close to each other. And moreover, it is a fresh demand zone created. And institutions create a new fresh demand zone. Maybe the new orders might be much more than the much more, more than the new orders, the existing supply. That possibility is also there. See, we never know. All these are all assumptions. Maybe the supply could be very high and further it will come down and it will violate this demand zone and reach the next demand zone. That possibility is also there. When you have both the possibilities, what is the probability? 50-50 probability. We are looking for the trades where at least we expect 80% success rate is there, not 50% success rate. That's why we have to avoid. In case if anybody would have taken a trade blindly without doing this analysis or without caring about the target, you would have got a loss. At least you would have got your stop loss. Your stop loss is 1,250 rupees. Your order would have been stopped out. But according to me, this is not. A, we cannot take such kind of trades when demand zone and supply zones are very close to each other, you never get the reward and you, you, you won't get a proper RR. Your RR is also not uh, good. That way you can avoid the trades. So this is an invalid trade based on the RR. Not only RR, the second point is your demand zone, target demand zone is very close to the supply zone. You have to avoid such kind of trades. Next one is PEL. PEL is also a daily zone. Daily supply zone. We have a drop, we have a base, and again we have a drop. See today, it looks like it's an excellent trade. See? The moment prices went, it reached. You know how much after getting into this zone, how much prices 
I mean, this is the 15 minutes demand zone. And the value it has given is from here 9,375 rupees it has given the return, which is 4.24 percent based on one futures lot. Because the lot size, the cost of the lot is high, the margin cost. That's why we got a very less uh, ROI. Generally, our uh, average ROI is 6.18 percent. But we got only 4.24 percent. Okay, anyway, it's a good for anything above four is a good, is an excellent uh, uh, return on the investment. But the problem is, we have seen a problem here. If you go to the lower time frames, you will understand. Okay, first as per our rule, what we did, this high liquidity zone, we fine tuned to 75 minutes zone. In the 75 minutes, we have seen a ERC candle as a leg in, two base candles, and then we have a leg out. This is at 75 minutes time frame. And then this 75 minutes, we fine tuned to five minutes. First 15 minutes and then 5 minutes. We have a drop, we have a base, and again we have a drop candle as a leg out. Drop base drop, DVD. And again in 5 minutes, It is the same, a small leg in candle. We have three base candles drop. That means it is almost same as the 15 minutes zone. Even five minutes also. So what about the target? Target always we target based on the 15 minutes time frame. The 15 minutes we have identified. A leg in candle, three base candles, and we have a leg out candle. So this is it reached. But the problem is, you zoom in, you will understand. Does it reach the fine tuned area? See the high of this candle. Let me mark a blue color line. Is it fine tuned? See, when I zoom out, sorry, when I zoom in, it looks like reached the entry, but we didn't get the entry. If I zoom out, I mean, uh, if I zoom in, you will be able to see there is a difference, which is a 1 rupee 30 paisa difference. Generally, what we do, we take a buffer. We keep a buffer before the proximal line. So generally, you keep 0.1 percent buffer. 0.1 percent or 0.15 percent. Uh, uh, Some people keep even 0.2, but that is very rare. 0.2, because the moment you are increasing the buffer, your reward will be reduced. At the same time, risk also will be increased. Generally, 0.1 percent people will keep. What is the cost of this? 9.83. Say, say close to thousand rupees. So 0.1% means 1 rupee. So generally you keep 1 rupee buffer before that. But with a 30 paisa margin, we miss the entry. Even though it has given a very good profit, 9,375 rupees profit during the intraday, 4.24% ROI. So that's why I say this is not a valid trade. Maybe the high liquidity zone, this could be treated as an entry buffer. We, we know entry buffer concepts. Just before reaching the zone, there is an entry buffer. It will again push the prices down. There could have been an entry buffer. But, okay, whatever it is. Because previously also, see, before going the zone, there is a rejection. There could have been an entry buffer here. Now, some more deep it went. See here? Let me draw a horizontal line here. Second time also prices reached near this entry buffer. Third time now a little deep inside. That means a lot of institutions kept 
there are a huge amount of pending orders in this area if you would have consider all these pen, uh, entry buffers probably you might have kept uh, your order a little before at least maybe 1 rupee 1 1/2 rupee before you you might have kept your orders if your risk management permits always i say that if your risk management permits otherwise you don't take the order but according to us prices did not enter into this zone at least point one buffer area the prices did not reach to this zone we can say our trade is not executed so we narrowly missed the trade but otherwise if we would have in, if the prices would have gone another 1 rupee up it would have been a very good trade but we missed the trade the moment we missed the trade okay we have to accept next one is pnb punjab national bank let me go to the daily time frame and this is the zone created in the year 2018 again there is lotl inside daily we have again another daily we have a rally base and drop or bd so this is a erc candle base candle and drop candle can say fail year so this is so we have a new zone inside the existing zone daily zone and this is also in april 2019 but unfortunately we didn't have trading view is not providing 5 minutes data and 15 minutes data from the year 2000 i mean uh, 2019 it is not available 5 minutes data is available only for last one year from the current date till last one hour one year only it is available that too if you take a professional package i mean paid service because they are providing 20000 candles if you would have taken uh, a lit uh, uh, pro plus i think pro plus packages probably they would have given you only 10000 candles last 10000 candles but okay whatever it is 15 minutes data and 5 minutes data is not available so we will not be in a position to check the quality of the candles and second thing is we will not be in a position to fine tune this zone so that way i simply left this zone because we can't take the trade without fine tuning and anyway prices also did not enter into this zone today even if we enter we would not have taken next one is mahindra and mahindra finance which is a 75 minutes zone we have a rally candle through uh, three base candles again a rally candle looks like an excellent zone right but it looks like stopped out today but look into the 15 minutes you will understand the real structure of this zone now i'm going to the 15 minutes time frame see 15 minutes you have a drop candle base candle how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so can you take this trade no we cannot the reason is we know when we have these many base candles the zone will be violated easily see how easily the zone is violated today so that is the reason why because we know we already learned when a zone will be failed i have explained earlier in several videos if any of you first time you are listening this video what you can do please go to that earlier videos when a zone can be failed i explained i think uh, that video will be available in neo apps uh, terminology playlist so you can access uh, so all these scenarios we discussed recently also last week also in one of the sessions again we have discussed uh, all these scenarios i explained even one week back if i am not wrong i mean during last week so anyway we know this zone will be violated next one is bosch this is also a 75 minute zone so prices did not enter into this zone 
sorry, this is a previously we have a high liquidity zone, daily high liquidity zone. Now today we identified a new high liquidity zone, drop, base, drop. But this zone is violated. This one is also violated. Why this zone is violated? If you go to the lower time frames, you will understand. See, most of the times when a zone is getting going to be violated, well in advance, before prices enter into the zone, most of the times, most of the scenarios, we will be in a position to identify the reasons just before taking the entry. See, today the CUB, CUB is a totally a different scenario, a new scenario we have evaluated today. Probably that example I didn't explain you earlier. This is the first example probably for CUB. When a zone will be failed, this is the first example we have seen today. What is that example? Both demand and supply zones are very close to each other. You cannot take a trade. There's different reasons. One is your risk won't be enough. Second reason, you never understand the price move direction when both the zones are very, very close to each other. Now look into this 15 minutes time frame. You will understand. See, 75 minutes time frame, it looks like a very beautiful zone. Drop, we have an excellent base candle, again a drop candle. But look into 15 minutes. We have a drop, we have two base candles, we have a rally candle. Actually, a demand zone is created. After that again, a drop candle without any base candles in between. So we have a leg candle. We have another leg candle. We have another leg candle. Now base candles are created below the zone. We can't take below the zone because we have to take trades inside the high liquidity. So easily it is broken. We didn't see an institutional activity. Only the 75 minutes created an impression there is an institutional activity. But the real activity we will, we will able to observe only if there is an horizon inside. What is the horizon? Horizon mostly you identify at 15 minutes time frame or 5 minutes time frame. Sometimes even 1 minutes time frame also we will be able to see the real horizon. Today we have one such kind of example. I will show you in the next uh, stocks. So it is broken easily. So that's why, because there is no 15 minutes supply inside this, we don't take a trade because we know this zone will be violated. And next one is Britannia. It is also a 75 minute zone. We have a drop, base, drop. This is not violated. Previously, prices reached until the distal line of this supply zone and then came down. It's already tested previously and then came down. And today, prices did not enter into this zone. Even if they enter, we won't take the trade. The reason is, inside 75 minutes, we should identify a fresh 15-minute zone. Let us check. Any new 15 minute zone is created when prices are dropping from here recently. Go to the 15 minutes time frame. See here. We have a drop candle. We have another drop candle. Lack candle, lack candle. Where is the base candles? That means there is no 15 minute zone. So that is the reason why what we expected today probably the zone will be violated easily. This is our yesterday's closing candle, this rally candle. That's why software identified prices near this zone, high liquidity zone. If the prices would have been went upside, easily we have seen today, this zone would have been violated. If institutions don't want to violate this zone, what they do? They again create a new supply inside this, a 15 minute supply they create, and then they push the prices down. If they don't want, the zone will be violated. But today what happened, the prices further went down. So that is the reason why we didn't get a chance to see this zone is violated. That means the prices didn't go to this zone today. 
and next one is jk cement it is a very interesting so you have some interesting learning also from this talk so focus on this talk let's go to 75 minutes time frame it is a 75 minute zone so we have a legging candle we have a drop candle sorry base candle and then we have a drop candle the legging is a erc candle if you consider this legging as a rally candle this is the way you draw the zone if you consider failed erc you don't want to consider this entire body or if you want to because a huge wick is there if we as per our view it is a drop candle then probably you can draw the zone like this either way is valid anyway i have drawn this so inside this 75 minutes i have identified a drop two base candles three base candles 1 2 3 three base candles and again a drop candle so that means our 15 minute zone would have been like this and inside this you need to identify a 5 minute zone for further fine tuning the risk and also to look into the structure of the 5 minute candles because if the structure is not good mostly this 15 minute zone will be violated so that's why i went to the 5 minutes in the 5 minutes look into the structure we have a drop and then we have a base candle 1 base candle 2 base candle 3 base candle 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 that means do you accept this zone let me zoom in you will get clarity you don't accept but there is another way you can analyze this how i looked into this see here hidden body i have added the hidden body here from this candle to this candle because it came with a gap down the moment you add the hidden body you will get this as a leg candle leg out candle but this leg out is not really great but it is considerable see here it's not a small candle you have a very large wick here moreover if you add the hidden body now some more body will be added definitely this body will be more than 60% of this range at least 60% the moment you add the hidden body even though the leg out should be 75 minutes that is medium candles but now this range is looking like above the medium size so there is a possibility but it is not having clarity because we don't have much clarity about the structure but at one point of time it looks like why this is looking like a small uh, a little above the medium because the previous one is very large leg in candle most of the time what we do we compare our leg out with the leg in candles that is a wrong way of comparison always i tell that and most of the times by comparing with the, and we will ignore this is a medium we may say this is not a leg out candle maybe it is a medium size or smaller than medium but if you just ignore this if you focus only these two candles and you add the body here the hidden body so why i am doing this kind of comparison is if i assume if i feel this is a leg out this is a leg out candle and this is a base candle see lot of rejections from this zone previously how we thought all these are all base candles including this candle we consider including this candle this candle everything we considered as a leg candle 
But the moment you are considering this is a zone, there are a lot of rejections are there. Rejection means there is a huge order flow inside this area. When we get such kind of things, probably there could be a lower time frame zone will be there. Their institutional might have kept the real order flow inside that. And if you think like that, what you do, you will go to one minute time frame. Now in the one minute time frame, within whatever five minutes zone you have drawn, why we have drawn this five minute zone? Because we didn't have clarity and then we have drawn. But actually here we have Let me hide this large candle, you will get clarity. Now this is looking like a leg candle. The green color first candle is looking like a leg candle. And then you have one, two, three, four base candles. And then we have a drop candle. That means at one minute time frame, inside that five minute zone or 15 minute zone, you can draw a zone like this. We have a leg-in candle, four base candles, and then you have a drop candle. Now see the order flow. The most of the orders are from this area. Let me draw a blue color line. Most of the rejections. So somewhere here, institutions might have kept a huge orders. Let the highest level, let me draw this. Most of the times, sorry, let me draw one more horizontal. Yeah. Now, between these two blue color lines, the prices are pushing. That means a huge amount of orders institutions kept here. If these orders are consumed, again they are adding new orders in this area. See, previously a lot of orders are consumed. That means institutions again added a new orders in this area. That means they don't want to let the prices go beyond this. They keep on adding, adding, and adding the orders. And see today what happened. Today prices entered this fine-tuned area. See here between these two blue colors, the prices went down, came down, and finally reached the 15 minutes target. Here it reached the 15 minutes target here in this candle at 255 candle. Or you can say even these two candles also because just maybe some 5 paisa difference or 5 or 10 paisa. So today at 250 candle, 251, 250, no sorry, 250, 250 and 251 and then 255 candle. And finally, at the end of the day, it is violated. That is a different story. That means PS. This zone is PS. But finally reached the target. Now let me go to the 15 minutes. You will get better clarity. It reached the entry and then reached the target. And that way, J.K. Cement has given 7,700 profit, which is 4.19%. See, this is a very deep analysis. Once you get a huge amount of, I mean, uh, once you get a huge experience, you will be able to do such kind of fine tuning. But normally, what you would have done today by looked into the five minutes, you would have rejected this zone. Because you have base candle 1, base candle 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Of course, that is the way we have to do. That is the way you have to do. But why I did this analysis? There is another reason behind this. Because at some point of time when I am doing analysis, I felt this is because, because all these candles are huge candles, they changed our view on the chart. All these candles looking like base candles. That's why what I did, I just zoomed in. The moment I zoomed in, now I saw a hidden body here. The moment I add the hidden body, 
this entire body from here to here we got a red color body which looks like a drop candle we have a drop base drop but again we have questions this drop this leg out is not very great generally when leg out is not very great what we do we go one more time frame below and we will try to see if there is any origin is there but this is already 5 minutes level mostly we stop our analysis at 5 minutes level but once you get some good experience you will be in a position to analyze at 3 minutes as well as 1 minute level but remember most of the times 3 minutes 1 minute whatever the analysis you do most of the times they fail the reason they fail is 1 minutes and 3 minutes they have very less stability they can't work unless the location is perfect they work 5 minutes and sorry 1 minute and 3 minutes work very well if you identify the perfect location if the location is not perfect mostly all the 1 minute 3 minute zones will be violated easily but this is a perfect location why it is a perfect location because we have a 75 minutes high liquidity zone inside we fine tune to 15 minutes inside we fine tune to 5 minutes inside 5 minutes again we fine tune to 1 minute that's why that location is perfect if i would out if if i would have identified a 1 minute zone just below this or just above this mostly they fail in a proper way we fine tune this is actually a top down analysis way of analysis doing the analysis anyway once uh, i complete the top down analysis uh, in our uh, advanced training sessions you will be able to understand in a much better way before that in the so second phase of our training the current the second phase of our training i need to complete this zone confluence because already we are using this zone confluence but i have to explain in a theory the theory in a proper way i have to explain after that we will go to the top down analysis in the third phase of our training there are two ways you can consider for your point of view this is a invalid zone because you have so many base candles for me i have seen something else here i have seen a drop candle that's why the leg out structure is not great i went inside how i have seen this drop by adding the hidden body but if you don't add the hidden body it looks like a normal base candle only all these candles why i added this hidden body because we are fine tuning the 15 minutes see the swing there is a swing is there generally what happens you know most of the times all the candles should be in a flat structure flat means they are all in the same narrow range area you will not see the swing see here price came down again went up again came down again went up see you are seeing the swings let me draw to get clarity let me draw the trend lines you will get the clarity how the swings are there see here from here to here there is a swing and after that again from here to here there is a swing again from here we have a swing here again from here we have a swing here such kind of structure if you are using let me expand you get better clarity if all the base candles are there you will not see such kind of big swings mostly all the candles will be there in a straight line maybe a small swing will be there which can be negligible but this is not a negligible swing this is a considerable swing most of the times the zones 1 2 3 4 5 6 candles will be there in a small narrow range but is it a small narrow range see let me draw the zone you will get clarity is it a small narrow range no this is a big area so that is the reason why i got the doubt maybe we should not consider this zone this 5 minute zone as if all these are all base candles in a narrow range it is not narrow range that's why i went one more time frame below by assuming by adding the hidden body i consider this is a leg out candle but this leg out is not great 
because it is not great i went again one more time frame below that is 1 minute there we found the real origin where the order flow has started so that is what this 1 minute zone so here we have seen the real origin where the now you will be able to see the price movements by removing these lines this is one test this is again went again went up here some narrow ranges here in this area after that prices came down it has to be violated it didn't happen it came down why it, why it came down because there is a huge order flow that's why we dare to take a entry in this zone because it most this is going to be at least a successful trade even if it is not successful because it is a 1 minute zone the risk is very 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 minimal we have to take risk when you find such kind of zones when you find a strong reasons when you are believing there is a strong reason to get success when you are believing there is nothing wrong in taking the risk because you are going to get a good profit finally you got it reached the 15 minute zone so that's why zk cement is uh, this is an advanced level uh, advanced way of analyzing the stocks because you should have a proper view in our mind but if you are a beginner and if you are currently in the learning phase just bookmark all these videos in future again it will be helpful to you when you gain some experience or again when you go through all these strategies and the observations how you have to observe the price actions basically based on the price actions only you are making your observations because you are a price action trader price action it doesn't mean only you have to uh, limit yourself learning just demand and supply zone uh, concepts the price movements always i say price structures you should have a good understanding about the price structures then you will understand the price movement you will understand in a better way the moment you understand the price movement in a better way then you will be in a position to fine tune your zones in a proper way you will not limit yourself to 5 minutes most of the times we will limit to 5 minutes but when you have some doubts see here today i got a doubt is it maybe can we draw a leg out candle but which is not a great leg out but can we draw okay i, I assume I, I, i just assume that is a leg out by adding a hidden some people may not accept that but still not a problem for me the reason is i have marked that zone inside that zone area i want to find a further lower time frame that is 1 minute time frame i want to find if there is any origin is there the origin is the actual order flow where the real institutional pending orders will be there that way we traced the actual order flow but we identified the actual order flow in the right location if you identify a wrong order flow it looks like a very good zone but that will be easily violated see every structure that is looking in a good way is not a valid zone the good structure in the good location this is a very important point the good structure price structure in good location only you get profits every good price structure never gives you good profits what is the location here our high liquidity zone 75 minutes high liquidity zone we fine tune to 15 minutes inside 15 we fine tune to 5 minutes inside 5 minutes we fine tune to 1 minute so that way your location is a good structure without fine tuning all these areas directly you go and you identify some 1 minute zone which is having a beautiful rally base drop and if you think that it, that is going to work in a perfect way that won't work mostly those zones will fail why they fail even though the structure is good because their location is not good because the location is not good your zone will be failed even though the structure is good these points you should understand when the moment you understand these points always you will become a very good successful trader always there is a procedure to identify a right zone without following that procedure 
you if you are going through each and every zone you identify you won't get success always remember every zone is not a tradable zone the zones at the right locations only the tradable zone the zone having good structure not the zone maybe if i say the zone that is a good location is a tradable zone maybe it is a wrong statement the zone having good structure and the zone in the good location is a tradable zone this is the right statement so with this i conclude our analysis and now we will generate the supply demand zone for our today's data so let me start with the daily time frame entry time frame is daily let us find the stocks which are near to the daily demand zone so eight stocks are filtered we look for high liquidity zones astral is there but astral is already went in deep i think friday we have seen but go through this already we analyzed that stock you can refer the friday's video we can identify the fine tuned zones and the next high liquidity is a fresh zone idfc but always fine tune to 75 minutes 15 minutes and see the structure if the structure is not good zones will be violated if the structure is good mostly it will it is going to be a successful trade and also you should have a good 15 minutes reward also if the 15 minute zone is exactly just before the your fine tune zone like what you have seen for cub 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 today city union bank in that stock whatever you have seen today if such kind of zones they will mostly you can't take trades so that's why always you should observe all these points then only you can confirm the zone is going to be a, mostly it will be a successful zone so that's it we have only two high liquidity zones identified idfc and astral i mean these are all the demand zones on daily time frame now let's go back entry time frame is daily let us find the stocks near daily supply zone so five stocks are filtered and which stocks high liquidity zones we have ltts and another one is pnb pnb we today we avoided because this zone is at 2018 because trading view we didn't have 5 minutes data and 15 minutes data available till 2018 we will not be in a position to find you so no use with this stock okay now let's go back for daily time frame let us find the stocks where price closed inside daily demand zone so these 11 stocks are filtered now let's go back entry time frame is daily let us find the stocks where price closed inside daily supply zone all these stocks are filtered where price closed inside daily supply zone so total 38 stocks are there inside the daily supply zone let's go back entry time frame is daily let us find the tested daily demand zones so today these 11 demand zones are tested so let's go back entry time frame is daily let us find the tested daily supply zones so these 14 stocks are filled tested i mean first i mean uh, these 14 supply zones are tested now let's go back entry time frame is daily 
let us find the stocks having newly created demand zones. So these 13 stocks are having newly created daily demand zones. That means today 13 demand zones are created, but in that one is a Nifty Pharma index is there. And entry time frame daily, let us find the stocks having newly created daily supply zones. Only four stocks are having newly created supply zones. So this is the filtered list. Now let me generate demand and supply zones for all the stocks on daily time frame. Entry time frame is daily. I'm generating demand and supply zones for your reference purpose. I keep on scrolling this list down. Whichever the stock you want to refer, there you please pause the video. So this is the complete list of the stocks on the daily time frame. Now we will generate stocks near demand and supply zones for all the time frames. Now let us generate the stocks near yearly time frame. Entry time frame is yearly. Entry time frame is yearly. Let us find the stocks near yearly demand zone. No stocks are there. Now entry time frame is yearly. Let us find the stocks near sup yearly supply zone. No stocks are filtered. Now let us uh, select the half yearly time frame. Entry time frame is half yearly. Let us find the stocks near half yearly demand zone. So only one stock is there, Delta Corp. Let's go back. Entry time frame is half yearly. Let us find the stocks near half yearly supply zone. So one stock is there. Let's go back. Now let us generate for quarterly time frame. Entry time frame is quarterly. Let us find the stocks near quarterly demand zone. So one stock is filtered. Let's go back quarterly time frame. Let us find the stocks near quarterly supply zone. Here also one stock is filtered. Now let us generate for monthly time frame. So entry time frame is monthly. Let us find the stocks near monthly demand zone. One stock is filtered. Let's go back. Entry time frame is monthly. Let us find the stocks near monthly supply zone. So three stocks are near monthly supply zone. Let's go back. Entry time frame is weekly. Let us find the stocks near weekly demand zone. So one stock is filtered. Let's go back. Entry time frame is weekly. Let us find the stocks near weekly supply zone. So seven stocks are filtered. Let's go back. Daily we already generated. So let us find, uh, let us filter for 125 minutes. Entry time frame is 125 minutes. Let us find the stocks near 125 minutes demand zone. So total 11 stocks are filtered. Let's go back. Entry time frame is 125 minutes. Let us find the stocks near 125 minutes supply zone. So three stocks are filtered. Let's go back. Entry time frame is 75 minutes. Let us find the stocks near 75 minutes demand zone. So seven stocks are filtered. So do we have any high liquidity demand zones from this list? One, two, three, four, six, seven stocks. No high liquidity demand zones on the 75 minutes time frame. I mean stocks near 75 minutes time frame. Let's go back. Entry time frame is 75 minutes. Let us find the stocks near 75 minutes supply zone. Seven stocks are filtered. High liquidity zones, high liquidity supply zones. So we have 
Cummins India, which is already tested two times earlier. So this is the one you have to ana analyze properly to find a fresh zones at the 15 minutes time frame. That's it. Only one is there, but it is already tested two times. So let's go back and let us go for 25 minutes time frame. Entry time frame is 25 minutes. Let us find the stocks near 125 minutes demand zone. So these eight stocks are filtered. Let's go back. Entry time frame is 25 minutes. Let us find the stocks near 25 minute supply zone. So three stocks are filtered. Let's go back. Now 15 minutes. Entry time frame is 15 minutes. Let us find the stocks near 15 minutes demand zone. So five stocks are filtered. Let's go back. For 15 minutes time frame, let us find the stocks near 15 minutes supply zone. These seven stocks are filtered. Let's go back. Now let us go to five minutes time frame. Entry time frame five minutes. Let us find the stocks which are near five minutes demand zone. So seven stocks are near five minutes demand zones. Now entry time frame is five minutes. Let us find the stocks near five minutes supply zone. So these nine stocks are filtered. So these are all the stocks near demand and supply zones for all the time frames. I hope uh, this information is useful to you for your further study and analysis. Let us all meet again in our next video tomorrow. Thank you.